back everybody. Oh, we are here in the finally the fall riding season has begun. We are now officially in fall. The 2015 fall riding season is so far looking awesome. Uh, as always, we gotta get out and ride, but uh, man, it is it is oh, so much cooler today than it has been so long. Oh, it is just absolutely gorgeous out today. So uh, hey, sit back, relax. Let me take the wheel for a bit. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Roll that beautiful bean footage. No, wait, wait, wait. No, that's wrong. No. So how's everybody doing? I hope you guys got out and had some fun this weekend. Uh, I hope you guys got on the road. I know there's circumstances for everybody that, you know, sometimes keeps you from being able to get out in the real good weather, you know, and I hope Eventually, everybody works them out and can get get out and have some fun because uh, oh, this is the best riding weather we're gonna get. Really, honestly, it's just it's a short window though, unfortunately. But uh, it's not like this summer, <laughs> a couple months. It's, it, this can all turn to hell pretty quickly. So I, I like to get out as much as I can in this. And man, as I said, it is it is fall. It's official 2015 fall riding season. It has finally begun, and uh, we are having great weather for it I'll tell you right now I, I'm wearing a jacket right now but it still feels really comfortable out and uh, just can't uh, can't beat it uh, I know the, the, the real crap's gonna come down but you just can't help but enjoy this really cool uh, dry air that comes with the fall so yeah so I mean we're having a great time but uh, you know a lot of good times can be had later on where we really start getting cooler as long as we have you get good gear gear riding gear is important big time not just for safety but for comfort uh, if you're a new rider uh, and you just started at the beginning of the spring you probably haven't bought too much uh, like real fall warm weather riding gear if you did good um, a lot of times when you buy a new machine if you're from a dealership you get uh, a discount and uh, you can buy some really good stuff. I mean, it's always good to be at the dealership to look at stuff because then you can actually try it on, make sure it's going to fit you nice. It's one hard part about buying a lot of clothing and gear like that online is that you're not really sure if it's going to fit you. You can find some good deals, but uh, huh, the best deals, believe it or not, for uh, fall riding gear is going to be in the spring, uh, the beginning of the year when all that stuff's going on clearance. Uh, so if you're going to be probably getting a bike we'll say at the beginning of this uh, 2016 we'll say before and save up an extra couple bucks see if you can get yourself some good gear because you'll find a lot of good stuff on clearance and you get some really good prices for it um, just because uh, you know when you get get into this season you don't want to be uncomfortable riding around you want to get that nice warm jacket and be able to go out and uh, enjoy what is to be some of the coolest most neatest looking scenery is around. Hopefully I can get some of that for you. For, uh, I love riding around in fall. Yeah, so if you're getting a new bike, uh, most likely you're going to get some discounts from the actual dealership, probably 20 to 30 percent maybe. Uh, most likely 20 uh, and on their gear right off the bat. And that could be a pretty good deal, especially when you can actually physically try on the stuff and uh, Make sure it, it actually fits you nice because that's a big factor and getting some really warm stuff right off the bat is going to be really crucial for now because uh it's gonna be getting pretty cool quickly Ooh, whoop -de -whoops. Let's, get, let's get through this come on let's go Woo! oh that's fun but man it's scary <laughs> Love that. Anyhow, back to what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So if you get a new bike, save up a little bit extra. Get some good gear when you buy it because you get some good deals right from uh, the dealer. And also online, they'll start getting clearances depending on what time of year. Like if you want to get some uh, spring stuff, you might actually be able to get a good clearance deals coming up real soon now. And uh, But the fall stuff, really, it's hard sometimes when you wait till you know, later on to buy because they won't, when they start closing out some of the stuff, uh, it's not as, uh, you don't get as much of a good, uh, I can't speak, damn it. You don't get as much of a selection, there we go. But uh, you can find some really good stuff on really good pricing uh, right off. 
we kind of get it at the right time. And uh, spring time is a good time to stop buying up some of that stuff for the winter. That cannot prepare ahead of time. And you get good deals, good products, and a great price. And uh, I don't really know what to tell you to buy because honestly, it's more your personal preferences. I have a Tour Master jacket. I'm wearing right now. It is very warm and has a liner that goes in it. I like it. Uh, it may not be for you. It has some padding to it uh, in case anything happens. It's probably not the most craziest of jackets. It's not leather either. It's, uh, it's all sorts of jackets and stuff out there that are uh, going to fit your needs and how you want to ride. Uh, some heated jackets. I mean, it depends on how extreme this year you want to ride. You're going to get some really good stuff that'll uh, keep you going all the way through the entire winter if that's what you can do. I mean, if you're in a place you don't get snow and ice, but it gets really cold, um, that's definitely an option you might want to look into. Everybody's going to be different. Everybody's going to need different gear, but man, uh, you're definitely going to want to get a nice warmer jacket for this time because right now we're pretty warm, but if you wait till about, uh, you know, I want to say two, three o'clock if you're out, it starts getting cool pretty quickly now. We're going to talk about probably down to the 40, so it's not as nice of a ride in those conditions when you're just wearing a t-shirt or uh, I should say a, a sweatshirt. The, um, the idea is that you want to be able to have, this jacket is very ventilated if I want it to be, you know, a jacket that can be cool and uh, also zip up and be warm at the same time. And therefore, you don't have to carry a whole bunch of gear with you. That always is, that's not fun, you know, carrying more stuff around with you to try to keep the keep yourself warm and cold. <laughs> Sorry, warm and cold. That, that didn't make any sense, though, did it? To keep yourself warm and cool off when it gets hot, depending on how the days are, because the days are really strange right now. We get like a very big fluctuation in temperatures. Uh, and uh, you don't want you want a piece of gear that can actually equip, it'd be to, you know, very cool and warm and then even make it even warmer if necessary later on. And that's kind of what this jacket does and a lot of other jackets as well. You kind of want to look for like ability of ventilation and be able to close that off. You know, a lot of my friends bought very light jackets for riding uh, from the beginning of the season because it was warm out. They wanted a riding jacket, but they bought a light jacket. You want to go for a ride now, you think, oh, it's kind of cold. I'm like, well, why don't you buy some nice gear? You know, that's a, it's a big thing because, uh, you gotta be comfortable when you ride, and you gotta have the right gear. I don't know. My friends are crazy, I tell you. Uh, I know for some of you it's not so easy to get out and ride, but uh, I hope some of you guys got out there and uh, were able to make a good day of riding out of uh, this beautiful weather we've been having out here in New England. Some of you guys get this stuff all the time. <laughs> I do get a little jealous of you guys, I know. Some of you uh, live in areas where it's like like this pretty much all winter and uh, it's beautiful, beautiful riding. Uh, we don't get that around here. So we gotta enjoy it while we can and I hope anybody from this area or anywhere up north really gets the chance to get out and have this fun and uh, gets to enjoy this beautiful day. You guys have a great day. I am gonna continue on uh, obviously riding around because this is a blast. And uh, don't forget about the Gear Junkie Initiative. Get someone out there riding. Uh, the more we get out here, the stronger we become. And uh, it makes a big difference. So you guys have a great day. Have fun and enjoy.